we have question number eight here a company bids for two contracts g and h the probabilities that it will win contracts g and h are one over five and three over eight respectively find the probability that the company wins both contracts only one contract so let's begin with the first part the ai we'll do the b later so ai it says that probability of winning contract gene is one over five probability of winning contract h is three over three over eight so probability that the company wins both contracts will be equal to probability that he wins contract G and contract H. So that will be equal to 1 over 5 times 3 over 8. And this will give us 3 over 40. Then the II part, the II part, probability that he wins. Let me continue here. The I, I at probability that he wins only one contract. Only one contract. So that will be probability of winning contract G and not winning contract H. Or probability of winning contract H and not winning contract G. So remember, probability of not winning contract G is equal to 1 minus 1 over 5, which is going to give us 4 over 5. And probability of so not winning, not winning contract H is equal to 1 minus 3 over 8, which will give us 5 over 8. So remember, the probability of winning contract G is 1 over 5. So that will be equal to this, which is 1 over 5 times 5 over 8. What we just calculated here plus probability of h which is 3 over 8 times probability of not winning g which is 4 over 5 so this will be equal to you know this will get rid of this we are left with 1 over 8 plus and 4 will go here 2 times so as 3 over 2 times 5 is 10. So the LCM will be 40. 5 plus um, this will give you 12. That will give us 17 over 40. Now let's talk about the B part of the question. Amaka drove a car from Samoa to Mipasem at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour in 135 minutes. On her return journey, she took three minutes less to arrive at Samoa. Find correct to wonder map place, the distance between Samoa and Mipasem, the return speed. So, let's say this is Mipasem, or oh, this is Samoa to Mipasem, Samoa to me pass them. so going going the speed was 60 kilometers per hour and then the time it took was t equal 135 minutes 135 minutes 
So converting this to hours, we have 135 over 60 hours. So we can calculate the distance covered from somewhere to in person. So that is given by, you know, speed is equal to distance over time taken. So the speed is 60 kilometers per hour. And the distance we don't know. Over the time is 135 over 60. So I can multiply also by 135 over 60. 135 over 60. Then multiply. So this will get rid of this. I left with D here. And 60 will cancel 60. We are left with 135. So the distance covered will be 135.0 kilometers to one decimal place. Then the I I pass said the return speed. So with the return speed, we we're told that she took three minutes less. So the time taking we equal to 135 minus three minutes. That will be 132 minutes. And the distance we found it to be 135 kilometers. So the return speed return speed will be equal to distance over time taking and the distance is the distance is 135 kilometers over 132 minutes so over one over 60 hours so we converted the minutes to hours by dividing by 60. so we can simplify this this will be equal to 135 kilometers times 60 over 132 and 3 will go here 45 times and 3 will go here 44 then 4 will go here 15, 4 will go here 11. So when we simplify this, you will obtain 675 over 11, 675 over 11 kilometers per hour. Or in terms of decimals, you will get 61.3636 and to one decimal place that will give us 61.3 61.4 kilometers per hour